I suppose we should start this conversation with a bit of a thank you from me and the rest of the boxing world because we're getting it. We're getting the fight that we all wanted, you know? But your first defense is against what many people would class as the pound for pound best fighter on the planet, you know, for the undisputed championship of the world. That's proper, man. Thank you. Um, ah, man, that's just the fighter in me. You know what I mean? And that's just the love that I have for the sport, just trying to be great as a. Uh, and just take advantage of these opportunities that, that we're that I have, you know, that God's given me, you know, at 23 years of age, becoming an um, undisputed world champion, you know, be the fifth one of I believe of this of ever, and also be the four belt, you know, well I think it's five belts, yeah. Ring magazine is also yeah. included in this, so I mean it's for it's all or nothing. And I'm very happy about that and be the first Latino to become undisputed in the four belt era. You know, um, so it's it's a uh, it's a great it's a it's a great opportunity right here, man. So why not? You know, when you have all we have all the riches right there in front of you, when you have all the stuff that you always thought about, you always dreamed about, to have it right there, um, it's right there in the grasp of my hands, right there. So I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. You know, and we're working really hard for it. It's surreal, but I know the moment that I'm in that ring. Oh, man, it's in my hands. So that's what's the best part about it, the best feeling. Do you know who was the last lightweight to be classed as undisputed champion? I think they said Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran was in 1979, that's right, but there was one after him in Pernell Whitaker, 1990. That's some company to be keeping, Tiafimo, you know? Of course, man. Those guys were great, man. And may he rest in peace, Pernell Whitaker, man. Uh, as somebody that I looked at, a lot. Man, it touches. It really does, because uh, I'm doing a big thing right here, man. And that's all thanks to God, man. Having faith. We, we live in this crazy era in boxing where we don't necessarily always get the best against the best, and therefore the opportunities to become undisputed are, are few and far between. And obviously you've got one of those opportunities on uh, October 17th. As you, This is just going off piece from your fight, because I'll come back to it in a minute. But as you look at other divisions... There's a few opportunities that have just started to arise where we might get to see one guy holding all the belts. I'm going to go to heavyweight, right? Because I know I've seen you at a few heavyweight fights recently. If that opportunity comes along for Tyson Fury, for Anthony Joshua, for all the belts, who wins the fight, in your opinion? The fans. Just like the fans are winning <laughs> this fight. The fans are winning. And hopefully in 2021, Tyson Fury... And Anthony Joshua could, you know, make that fight happen. And hopefully we're able, at, during that time, a period in the future, in the near future, we're able to have fans in the arena. I want you to clear something up, because I know that this didn't happen, but I want you to clear this up. So this fight gets made, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and then there's a report that goes around that a percentage of Lomachenko's purse, he's given it up, and then it comes to give to you in order to make the fight happen. Tio, come on. Talk to me real, what happened? It's pure and, and that's really just what it was. And man, just for that to be, to, to even be thrown at and they promoted it that way. You know, the same way they promoted that I, um, at one point, you know, they said I declined the fight. No, I declined the offer that they came and they did with me. The same way they promoted with Vasily Lomachenko in the 800K. Now, if they promote our fight, that is actually happening. It's already signed and, de and and said, you know, everything's done with. Then we'll have more views, you know what I mean? But they're promoting that side, and which is not even true. You know, ESPN stepped in the table and stepped to the plate, you know, and I still, you know, I still didn't get my fair share. You know what I mean? But it's either have everyone say that I duck and dodge a fighter when that's not true. That's not who I am take the fight and you know what it is what it is uh, i've been screwed over before that's fine with me i'm okay with that i'll do it again then it's all right you know what um and um that's why you know with this fight going on and everything it's not only lomachenko i'm gonna be beating up it's everyone else that's on this deal do you like him no i don't like L lomachenko why what's that what what's he done everybody always asks me why i don't like him and and what is it for and what's the reason? Is it just for show or anything like that? I just don't like it. I just, you know, you ever look at somebody and, and, you know, you see somebody's face. I don't know if you ever grabbed that at them. 
They just look like, uh, you know, you never judge somebody, you know? My thing is I don't ju ever judge a book by its cover. You know what I mean? Um, that's how I've always been. That's why when you met me, um, some people, not you, but others will say, man, you really aren't this arrogant <laughs> person I thought you would be. Uh, it's because they judge me without really knowing me. Um, yeah, yeah. So, but for me, and I know that and I understand that, so why am I going to judge someone without knowing them first? Um, so that's why I am the way I am. I know him. I've met him. Um, had a small talk with him. And just seeing the way he's around, how he is around certain people, it just irritated the, the it just irritated me. Um, and I'm thankful that we're able to make this fight happen because now, you know, um, I get to finally like do some damage to this man. I want the best for Lomachenko, but that's in another weight class. You know what I mean? And 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 because I understand that he wants to make history and he wants to he wants to build his legacy more, and this is it for him. And the same goes for me, you know. But he could do that at 130, at 126. This is my weight class. I've been in this weight class. I started in this weight class, and I'm gonna finish it the right way in this weight class. Do you envision this one being the last at 135 and us stepping up to 140 at some point next year? I would absolutely love to uh, face. The winners out of Josh Taylor and um, Jose Ramirez, you know? Why not become undisputed at 135 and then become, again, undisputed at 140? Back wow. to back, you know? Wow. That, that, would, that would be something to talk about. You know, that's who I am. That's the type of fighter I am. I don't, I love to step up to the plate and do things like that. Things that are, you know, um, just make more history, make a legacy for myself as well. You know, and um, that's what it's all about. You know, in order to be the best, you have to face the best or fight the best, whatever they want to say. I know I'm the best, and um, and I just have to perform every time to show that I am the best. Why not go back and we go to the UK and face uh, someone, you know, out there? Josh Taylor, you just mentioned his name, man. You can, you can come yeah. to the UK and do that thing. There's 18 million homes that this is going to be beamed into. I don't want to put extra pressure on you. I know you don't feel that pressure, but this is this really feels like a proper moment for boxing in America and, and an opportunity for yourself and obviously Vasily to become household names. Of course, you know, and that's the thing that I love the most. The more the merrier. That's who, that's how I am. You know what I mean? The more the merrier and I, and I love it, you know, and the more people who are able to watch us, uh, the more I get to um, show what I'm all about. You know, I'm a show off. I love to show off. <laughs> Will you stop him? My job is to do what I know best. And um, the rest is there. You know, of course, my, my job is, obviously, if I have it in my hands to do that, I'm going to take advantage of it, you know. And that's who I am. So if I hurt him, best believe I'm going to continue to do that and finish the fight. Um, I'm younger. I'm stronger. I'm faster. I'm hungrier, you know. Um, he's experienced. Um, he has all the credentials of pound for pound in that list. All those things that we can talk about. Correct, right? Um, but just when it comes to it, lightweight division is not for him. And, um, you know, he's better off at 130, like I said, or 126. He's a smaller guy, and he needs to face guys that are in his weight class. I'm a big 135-pounder, but I'm not going to just um, depend on my, my massive body on this guy. You know, we're going to do many things technical, and, and we're just going to pick him apart. I'm not worried about the guy that I'm facing in front of him. I'm worried about the person I'm facing in the mirror. That's me. So, and that's the most important thing. I'm not focused on who's, who, who I have to be. I'm focused on what can I do better to perfect my craft? What can I do better to, to have the best night? And I'm always going to be hard on myself mm -hmm. because I like to be a perfectionist. Uh, but no one's perfect but God. And, um, but that's just who I am, you know? Um, I'm not focused on that. You know, that's why I don't watch film. I let my team watch him. They tell me what he does, what he doesn't do right, what he does, uh, what he does do right, what he likes to do, what he likes to use, and um, you know, uh, the reason why is because it could be a whole different Vasily Lomachenko that night, mm -hmm. you know. So why am I gonna predict off of or stand off of one previous fight that he had? You know, we have our bad nights, we have our great nights. So, you know, I can't just judge a fighter off of what he did in his last previous fight. Everybody knows that, obviously, your main trainer, your dad. But I know that you're working with Joey again. Is that right? Is he yes. is he back in? I mean, it worked so well for the Richard Comey fight, you know? So why change yeah, it if love, it isn't broken? 
Absolutely. You know, and I think that, you know, throughout this camp and everything, it's been great. It's been fantastic. And um, him and my father, they're building more of a bond together. They starting to realize, my father's starting to realize that this is good for, for me. At the same time, him being my head coach, you know, at first it was kind of a, uh, uh, he thought it was temporary, you know, but, you know, he liked, you know, the, the relationship. You know, Joy Gamash is a hell of a trainer, you know, and, and the thing is that I love is that he respects where his position and where my father's position is at, you mm-hmm. know, and he understands that, you know, um, in order for us to be a team, we have to work as a team. Joey, he's a, he knows what I'm about, you know, and same goes for Tyson Fury. He knows who, who I am and what I'm about, and that's why, you know, I got nothing but love for the man. I'd like your opinion on this because the biggest fight that everybody was talking about was Mike Tyson's return against Roy Jones. Don't get me wrong. Legends, but it's a different type of thing to be getting excited about. What's your opinion on that? First of all, that Mike coming back at, what, 53 years of age? Man, I'm going to see if I can get a ticket to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be, honestly, I would love to be the referee for that. That would be awesome. And just... I'm a man, you know, I'm I'm 23 years of age, but I still have that that fan in me. So seeing those guys face each other, whether it's an exhibition exhibition match or whatnot, um, man, it's just going to be great. It's fantastic, you know, um, and definitely just see how they are, man. I mean, look at it like this, you know, even though they're in their 50s or in their late 40s, you know, they're working out, looking tremendous. And, um, you know, and hopefully they continue to do that. They don't even need to fight, you know, but just to see that happening. And everything, ah, uh, oh man, it's beautiful for the sport. Just a quick one on the lightweight division, because as I said at the start of this, there will be people that will drop comments on this show and they'll say, you said undisputed, it's not undisputed. It is. This is an undisputed fight. Make no mistake about it. I know there's another there guy is. out. Well, there's another guy out there that claims that no, he's got no, a WBC no. belt. He hasn't. Repeat it, repeat this it. is on, for the on. undisputed lightweight championship of the world. End of, right? That's the end of the conversation. Of but what's your opinion on the other lightweights out there. I mean, we've got Devin Haney at the moment talking about a fight maybe with Gary Russell Jr. stepping up in weight and maybe that can get made. We've got our very own Luke Campbell from the UK taking on Ryan Garcia. There's, I know there's a weird one between Tank and Santa Cruz, which is actually at the weight category below, but there's two belts on the line, one from the lightweight division. It's meant, that's crazy, man. I don't even want to get involved in that. <laughs> but what's your take on all this at the moment? Where, where's, where's that division like for you? Who's... Once, you, once you've shut up shop and cleared off to 140, who's going to come through as the next king of this division? Um, it could be any of them, honestly. And I think that that's the best thing because uh, they are all tremendous athletes, all tremendous fighters. They bring so many things to the table if need to be. Uh, and, but but Teofimo and Lomachenko are just two different guys that are, are leading the way. Um and then now you got these two guys about to fight each other and I'm going to lead the way from this point on. I've never been a follower. I've always been a leader. And, uh, but, but to look at it from this point on, um, Javante Davis, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Hernares, Luke Campbell, uh, it could be any of those guys, but expect a, a world-class champion. Uh, but, you know, as of right now, with, you know, I'm going to leave it as after this fight, you know, pick up my mic and then drop it, you know. And uh, just move on, you know, because we did that. I look at the size of the other guys. The, the Devin Haney fight's going to happen at some point between you and him, isn't it? Because he could move up in weight. You, you, you're going to move up. I look at him, and he could probably put the size on to move up. Well, I would hope so. I would, as long as he fights a live body and he, he fights someone that has a pulse in, the, in this division... You know, um, and stop fighting or trying to face guys that are two weight classes above him or, I mean, underneath him, you know, uh, or stuff like that. Uh, You know, yeah, absolutely. I would love to have that fight and I would actually do it in Vegas, you know. Or maybe, you know what, because now, you know what, I'm the A side after this. So come to New York. Come and come follow me. Enjoy the rest of camp. I know that you're putting the graft in. I can see it all over social media. You're working, man. You're not one of those guys that are just doing it for the clicks. You do it, you're do you doing it. I know you're putting it in. You, I know how much this means. And like I said, the opportunity to become an undisputed champion, they are few and far, far between. You've got to give it everything you've got. And we can't wait for October the 17th. Go well, my man. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone out there. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And please do not, if you have something lined up October 17th, whether it's a birthday, uh, celebrate it at home 
watching it. So everybody could stay tuned and watch a great fight happen. You know, this is legendary. This is one for the books. This is one, at least something good could come out of 2020 will be this fight right here.